Good afternoon from Kleinshire. I was in the goat pen earlier and I saw something really cool that I've come back for. Let me show you. Hello girls. Can I come in? Can I come in? Oh. What's up everybody? You gonna let me do this? More goats over there. But what I want to show you is up here. Look up here. Look at that. That mushroom is called a dryad's saddle. Some people call it pheasant back, I believe as well. And it is an edible mushroom. Very obviously an edible mushroom with no poisonous lookalikes. I was excited to see it. It's, it's large, but it looks tender as well. Uh, they're a mushroom that sticks around for a while and gets more leathery and harder as it gets older. But this, is, this one's young. We're at the right season for them, and this looks totally edible. Look at that. This is just part of it. Beautiful, isn't it? So I've, I've cut down the bigger ones and they do look so tender. If you look, I left the little one here. My hope is that after the next rain or maybe there's enough moisture as it is, that I'll be able to come back and harvest another one for fresh eating too. You gonna let me through, girls? <laughs> Guess what I brought you? Let's see. Holy oh, shit. Is that amazing? Are they supposed to be that big? Well, they yeah. get really big. Mushroom. Yeah. They get oh, really big. All. They all get big eventually, but if they take a while to get big, they get yeah. hard. But this is still very tender, it looks like. Good. Look how huge that is. Yeah. That looks yummy. These mushrooms do need a little bit of cleanup. They're not extremely dirty. You can see the underside is, is mainly beautiful. And you really don't want to wash them except before immediate use because they'll get soggy. Well, we're gonna we're gonna enjoy some of it with supper tonight, but the rest of it I am going to slice up and freeze, and that's why I'm saying that I don't want to wash it because you'll end up with a soggy mushroom when it thaws. I want this to be fairly dry. So, I'm using a fillet knife now, and I'm just cleaning up the top. I'm feeling to make sure that this is tender white flesh on the mushroom, and there's no dirt. Let's take some of the top off as well and just basically clean up the mushroom before I cut it up. The other thing that I'm cutting off is a little bit of the spore. You can see it has this uh, network and it's spongy. I don't think it's strictly necessary you cut it off but I think the texture is a little weirder than the flesh of the mushroom so I'm cutting off a most of it at least. The other thing is if there are little creepy crawlies in the mushroom that's pretty much where they'd be right there in these spores at the bottom. So this layer will come off too. While I work on this I just want to say a word about mushroom hunting. First of all a caveat I am not a professional mushroom hunter by any means uh, in fact, I get a little scared by a lot of the mushrooms and I leave them alone even if in fact they could be legitimate and good mushrooms. Let me show you one from last year that's still sitting here and really needs to be disposed of. Uh, 
Look at this jar here. These are dried mushrooms. I dehydrated an enormous number of mushrooms to get this jar. And I checked the type of mushroom. I was fairly confident that, like 99.9% .9 confident, I should say, that it was a safe mushroom and not a lookalike. You can do a spore test. I did the spore test. But then I did some reading the next day after I did all the work of dehydrating that, and I discovered that there is a poisonous lookalike that sometimes grows alongside the safe mushroom. I hadn't spore tested everything. We're not gonna eat this. This was wasted work. So mushroom hunting is uh, something that you have to be very careful about because some of these mushrooms have poisonous lookalikes. So make sure you read, it's good to go with somebody. I learned a lot from watching YouTube actually um, and getting advice from some foraging groups on Facebook as well. But um, this one, the pheasant's back or the dryad saddle, I feel good about because really there are no poisonous lookalikes. It's pretty obviously what it is. It needs to be cooked. It's not a mushroom you can eat raw. It gives you digestive upset, I guess. Um, some mushroom hunters ignore the dryad saddle because it has quite a bit of texture to it. But we had some of these last year at the end of the season, which was usually you want them earlier in the year. And we had them in eggs, and they just had a great, that texture is awesome. I mean, it's not quite like a store mushroom, but man, it, it tasted really good in those eggs. So I made a note of it when spring came along to take a look in the woods and see what I saw. And there are more out there. I've, I've seen some nice mushrooms growing. What else have we harvested? Well, the other simple ones can include the morel here in Wisconsin. We found some, the boys have found some morels in the woods. Not too many, actually, but, you know, if they go out and look, they generally come back with a few, which is enough for eggs. The morels are a safe mushroom, mostly, uh, as well, because they're pretty obviously what they are. Uh, I think some people have some issues with, with eating them, uh, but the mushroom itself is fine. It's just different people react differently to different mushrooms. So morels are pretty safe. Another one, maybe I'll show in another video at some point, is the elm oyster. It's not a true oyster mushroom, but we seem to have them in abundance on some of the living trees in our woods, and they are a safe mushroom. But more on that later this summer, I guess. So I made a big deal out of emphasizing caution, and that, again, can't be overstated. And the fact of the matter is people do hurt themselves and you can do serious damage to your liver and poison yourself. I know people who've ended up in the hospital and had their stomach pumped. So the caution can't be overemphasized. That having been said, it is an amazing resource and it's right there in the woods. And with a little study, a mushroom like this one opens new worlds. This is not a portobello mushroom. It doesn't taste anything like that. And the, the smell, it smells like watermelon rind. It's, it's just an interesting thing. And the texture is so different, and yet it's a mushroom. I am of the opinion, actually, that grocery store food is not just bland. It, 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 a lot of people never open their taste buds. They don't realize the flavors they could unlock if they looked to the variety of things instead of just the one or two types of mushrooms that they sell in the store. Um, and that goes for any product. Heirloom tomatoes versus regular tomatoes, for example. Um, it makes a big difference in, in taste, and a lot of people don't realize what a tomato actually tastes like. Same thing here, obviously, with, with the mushrooms. So try it out. See what's in your woods. And best of all, it's, it's free. Um, there are state lands you can forage on, and, and make sure you look up the rules because it can differ from place to place. And as I said before, consider going with somebody who knows what they're doing the first few times because it can be potentially dangerous. 
but it's it's so easy to do we we found and it's a, a blessing of the abundance the super abundance of of this beautiful plot of land we have here at the farm Mm -hmm. These two trays will go into the freezer to flash freeze, after which I will put them in Ziploc bags. And we'll save a little for with supper tonight, too. What's on the menu tonight? Mushrooms. Hmm. Um, several, several things are on the menu. And one of them is your dried salad mushrooms that you found on the tree mm -hmm. and there's some onion sauteed and butter sauteed and butter with some scapes, scapes and some onions yeah. and then it's got also garlic salt in there and what else are you going to be black adding? black pepper and then Italian seasoning and then I'm putting tuna mm -hmm. and then it's going to go with rice good Friday meal yes very good can I try yet? Uh, what do you think? how does it look? I don't know does that look good? Gotta make sure these are cooked. Who wants to try it first? You or me? Who wants to be the taste tester? Well, I'm not sure if they're done or not. Try a smaller one. Can I try one? Not yet. Wait till the daddy. They're shrinking. They're supposed to. That's what I'm saying. Like, they are cooking. I just don't know if they're fully cooked yet. It's really good. Chewy. It's but good. Are they supposed to be chewy? It's a chewy one. Mm -hmm. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Can Is the flavor good? The flavor is really small, good. Uh, grab a small yeah. Now this guy is Can I use your fork, Daddy? <laughs> All right. Looks like everybody's going to taste I'll some. Can I use your fork, Daddy? <laughs> you want to use my fork? Taste okay. the mushrooms. Let's go to the chest. Oh, you got it? Blow on it. Hot. Nice All right. I think we'll sign off for tonight and enjoy our supper. God bless everybody. Subscribe, follow along. We're having fun here at the farm.